Let's take a look at her before and after. Carol, come on out and join us. Excellent, amazing. And just how many days? Five days? Five yeah. days. Five days. And it's really, narr it's like narrowed you everywhere. Absolutely. Beautiful. It's, I, can't, I can't stop looking in the mirror. Well, was, it, was it painful? It was, it was almost like, it felt like a sunburn, I'll say. During Afterwards. the procedure? After, what yeah. about during? During, I felt nothing. Really? I was, I almost, I, I was telling Dr. Davis I almost took a nap during. Because obviously we yes. saw you, you, it was done under local anesthesia, yes. with a little bit of sedation, I assume. Um, like just, no, a Valium did, or a Percocet? No. And, and real quickly, I just want to acknowledge that this just a few days ago, that before and after looks wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. I, I feel amazing. I can't, like I said, I can't stop looking in the mirror. Aww. Excited to. How many days after? The, there's like really no bruising at all. Yeah. There was no bruising. Well, That's amazing. Well, let's the bring into the conversation your plastic surgeon, Dr. Davis, who mm -hmm. coined this flash lipo procedure. In fact, I think you said you just got flashed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Yeah, I mean, the, the beauty of this is like, we know that liposuction is still the number one surgical procedure in the United States, and for a good reason, because it works so well. And a lot of these new devices have come into the market that do a non-surgical removal of fat, but the problem is, you have to wait a while, and you know us, we are instant. Everybody wants something instant. So I came up with this thing called Flash, which really does allow us to do exactly what we did with Carol. We're able to just take pockets of fat away instantly, and she really didn't have any sedation at all to answer the question. It was just pure local and a lot of me talking. Well, Dr. Davis, I mean, what you're doing here, you're, you're doing tumescent technique liposuction. I couldn't agree with you more. We have machines out there to melt fat, to freeze fat, to heat fat, to <laughs> you name it, That's right. ultrasound. I agree with you that in general, and especially rolls like this on the back uh, and, ar and around the bra strap, that old-fashioned classical liposuction will give you the best result. And I agree, and, and one of the things that I like most about the way we're doing this now is that we're really utilizing just like kind of like old-fashioned, in a way, thought process, which is, hey, if I take a really fine cannula and I attach it to a syringe, I can create a suction right within the syringe. I don't need instrumentation, I don't need machines, I don't need other things. And I think that's one of the reasons why she didn't have any bruising, honest. That's, so you were I, sucking it out with a syringe? I actually no, brought, I not, and that's not a new technique. This is basically the concept, it's just it's a syringe with a cannula that's very fine, and it has different heads to it, different kind of holes to it, almost like a coffee stirrer. And then what we're able to do is, we're able to just inject a little bit of local into the area, and then as we're pulling back the plunger, we're actually getting a suction in there. And if you do it, again, it's always about choosing the right patient, right? Mm -hmm. So someone that's really very motivated and wants to do something like this, you can do it in other areas of the body. So you can do it in the bra line, you can do it on the inner thigh, you can do it around the knees. Areas like that are really, really very And how long did it take, to that procedure? For Probably a little over an hour. What's wow. the aftercare? When you do flash lipo, like because you're you're removing fat out, so right. to take care of yourself, so you I mean you don't get that bulge again. What do you have to do to take care of that? Very important question. You really need to compress the area. So I dressed her afterwards in a pressure type dressing, and we're trying to train the skin to go back down to where we want it to ultimately form to. So now Carol's very active, so she wasn't really able to take off any time either. So she literally went right back to work from here. And what Dr. Davis is saying that as critical as removing the fat is what you do afterwards. You have to keep the, the patient in compression in the form of a vest or a garment. It allows the skin to shrink down, shrink wrap. That's why she's gonna get such a good result. Well, Carol, we are happy that you're happy. Dr. Davis, thanks Thank for joining you. us. Thank you.